for today's video, we will be showing you how we created this indoor waterfall out of styrofoam and cement. This was a relatively easy and inexpensive project and a great way to get rid of a bunch of styrofoam. Some other things you'll need are a water pump, liquid rubber sealant, we used a product called Flex Seal, cement, tubing, and some paint to bring your structure to life. The first step is to create the entire waterfall out of styrofoam. These big pieces came in the box for a printer we bought and will work to create the base. If you don't have pieces like this, you can build the base the same way we built the rest of the waterfall, which you will see in a moment. Basically, you're creating two basins. The basin in the front will be the pool at the bottom of the waterfall and the rear basin will hold the water pump. Then the two basins will connect through a little channel. We used two popsicle sticks and a bunch of toothpicks to hold the structure together and it worked fine. Use a piece of styrofoam to create a center support and decide how many falls you want. We decided to create four falls. We made a tube out of cardboard and duct tape to keep a clearing for the water pump tubing. We made little shelves for things like candles and crystals by jetting out flat pieces of styrofoam from the sculpture. Make sure the rear basin is deep enough for the water pump. When you're done with the structure, add tons and tons of extra toothpicks to give it more stability. We used retocrete concrete for our structure, which took about 24 hours to cure. It also came with a ton of gravel in it, which we had to sift out, but we recycled that for later. For future projects, we'd use something else like quickcrete to save time during the curing process. When you're all done, let it dry completely and then flip it over and do the bottom. When the structure was done drying, we used acrylic paint to give it lots of dimension. We started with different gray tones and ended with adding lots of dark green around the pools for a mossy appearance. We use liquid varnish to help blend the paint together. This part is optional because you'll eventually cover this in liquid rubber, which will seal all of the paint. Now we covered the structure in liquid rubber. This is the most important part because this makes everything waterproof. Make sure the inside of the channel is completely covered in sealant. When this cured, we flipped it over and did the bottom. When that's done, feed your tubing into the top pool and seal it with a liquid rubber or a glue gun. Make sure it's about a half an inch above the bottom of the pool to prevent pebbles from falling into the tube. Then attach the pump to the tube. We built a natural rock structure as a base that we thought looked great, but this would also work on a flat surface. Add some pebbles to the bottom of your pools. We use the gravel that we sifted from the cement. We use crystals and rocks and lots of natural moss that we collected in the forest behind our house. If you use stuff you find out in nature, make sure you clean all the dirt off everything so your water stays clean.
We put tons of plants all around to give a jungle garden vibe. After some playing around and configuring, this is the final result.